In this question, we're given a diagram, and we're told that ABC and EDC are straight lines. We're also told that line EA is parallel to line DB. EC is equal to 8.1 centimetres, DC is equal to 5.4 centimetres, and DB is equal to 2.6 centimetres. We need to work out the length of line AE. And before we begin to layer up our diagram with the different dimensions, we can start by identifying the two triangles in our diagram. We can start with triangle DBC. And now the next triangle that we can identify is triangle AEC. Now we can label our diagram with the dimensions given to us in the question. So we're told that line EC is equal to 8.1 centimetres. We're told that line DC is 5.4 centimetres. And lastly, we're told that line DB is equal to 2.6 centimetres. Now that we've identified the two triangles in the diagram, we can see that we're working with similar triangles. And two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So in order to prove that two triangles are similar, we need to use their angles. And so to prove that they're similar, the angles in both triangles need to be the same. So looking at our diagram, let's see if we can find that out. So we'll draw angle one, angle two, and angle three on each triangle. On triangle AEC, we can call this one, this angle two, and this angle three. And on triangle BCD, we'll call the corresponding angles the same. So one can be over here, angle two over here, and finally angle three. So now we need to prove that these angles are the same size. So for angles one and angles two, we can do this using our rules for angles in parallel lines. Since line AE and line DB are parallel, we can say that angle one for triangle AEC and angle one for triangle BDC are equal because these angles are corresponding. And now we can apply the same rule to angle two. Angle AEC and angle BDC, both angle two, they're equal because they're also corresponding angles. And finally, looking at angle three, we know that angle BCD and angle ACE are equal because they're simply the same angle. Now that we've proven that triangle ACD and triangle BCD are similar, we can use a scale factor in order to find the length of AE. So we mentioned that two triangles are similar if their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. And so we're given enough information to find this scale factor. We know that length EC is equal to 8.1 centimetres and length DC is equal to 5.4 centimetres. And so length DC must have been multiplied by a constant value in order to get the length EC. So we can find out this constant value by doing 8.1 divided by 5.4, which is equal to 1.5. And now that we've found a scale factor of 1.5, we can use the length DB in order to find the length of AE. We know that DB equals 2.6 centimetres. And so to get to length AE, we need to multiply by the scale factor calculated above. So we can now find AE by doing 2.6 multiplying by 1.5 and getting a final answer of 3.9 centimetres, which we can write in the answer box below. Part A of the question is worth two marks. And although we didn't need to prove that the two triangles are similar, it's useful to speak about why they're similar in order to go about this question. So when we spoke about angle one, angle two, and angle three, we don't need this to get the mark, but it's useful to discuss this just so that we get a better understanding of the question before we begin. And so to get the two marks for this question, the first mark will be for finding the scale factor of 1.5 by doing 8.1 divided by 5.4, which we did clearly over here. And that second and final mark will be applying the scale factor to the length db in order to find the length of ae. We said that 2.6 multiplied by the scale factor of 1.5 is equal to 3.9 centimetres and we found the final answer of length ae which is 3.9 centimetres. Now in part b we're told that length ac is 6.15 centimetres and we need to find the length of ab. And so we can use the scale factor calculated in part a in order to calculate the length of ab. And so we've included a small screenshot of the diagram for reference at the bottom. We calculated that the scale factor to get from any length in triangle DBC to, any, to its corresponding length in triangle AEC, we need to multiply by 1.5. So we can see that line AC 
is equal to 6.15 centimetres. But now looking at the question, we are asked to find the length of AB. And AB is not a part of either of the triangles. AB is a different segment altogether. But what we can do is find the length BC, because BC is part of triangle DBC, and we'll highlight the length BC in blue. So in order to find the length BC, well, we know that to get from BC to AC, we multiply by 1.5. We know that AC is 6.15 centimetres, so to find BC, we'll do 6.15 divided by 1.5 in order to get an answer of 4.1 centimetres. So BC is 4.1 centimetres and AC equals 6.15 centimetres. So to find AB, we can say that AB equals AC take away BC equals 6.15 take away 4.1 and so we get a final answer of 2.05 centimetres. So in order to get the two marks needed for part B, we need to have used the scale factor from part A in order to find the fact that length BC equals 4.1 centimetres. And that second mark will be for finding the length AB by subtracting BC from AC in order to get a final answer of 2.05 centimetres.